You never know what claim will pop up online. Viewer Deanna reached out about a claim that women's pockets were phased out so women could prove they were not witches. She wanted to know, is that true? We found a few other tweets trying to make the same connection, so we decided to verify. And this one took us down a long road back in history with a few twists and turns. Our sources are Sarah Idakavage, a PhD student for the Historic Clothing and Textile Collection at UGA, the Salem Witch Museum, a group of independent researchers, excerpts from the London Spectator, and the Book of Pockets, a practical guide for fashion designers. Let's start with Sarah. Is there any connection between women's pockets and witches? I have never heard of it, but I'm also not that surprised to hear about this because pockets have this really long history of being associated with women and secrecy and privacy and intimacy. To understand that history, you have to go back to the Middle Ages. Back then, both men and women had pockets and they were tied around the waist like little fanny packs. By the 17th century, they were sewn into men's clothing. Women still carried the bags. Eventually, they added pouches like these that would be accessed through slits in her overskirt. And because of its proximity to the pelvic region, it created a new social assumption. There are many historical accounts of women holding like secret letters and, you know, various gifts from the lovers. If you think a woman is being, you know, a little, uh, immoral. Maybe you might associate that with her pockets. Toward the end of the 18th century, waistlines tightened, silhouettes slimmed, and pockets shrunk. The London Spectator reported women had four external bulges already, two breasts and two hips, and a money pocket inside their dress would make an ungainly fifth. Rachel Christ with the Salem Witch Museum says eventually pockets were phased out, not because of witches, but because of the Industrial Revolution. Clothing can be mass produced, I should say, really for the first time. You're not necessarily sewing your clothing at home. So the need to have a, you know, attachable pocket um, is just phased out for whatever reason. Even today, the size of pockets remains unequal. The size of a woman's pocket, on average, 48% shorter and 7% narrower than a typical man's. And it still remains a joke in pop culture. So do pockets have a history of secrecy, privacy, and gender inequality? Yes, that's verified. But a link to witches? No. <laughs> this one was interesting, I told you. 11 Alive dedicated to verifying claims you might see online. If you see something that needs to be verified, no matter what it is, send us an email at verify at 11alive.com. Now, Chesley, I went down an internet wormhole for this one. <laughs> I could not figure out where this claim came from. I couldn't verify it, but I have a theory. So we're going to put that up as a digital extra. Keep an eye on my Facebook page today. I want to hear that. I, I still don't get the cross between pockets and witches, like how that, that came together. That it was phased out so they could prove they weren't. That's, that's the theory, but mm. it's not true. Okay, all right. And as far as pockets being bigger on men's pants? That's just true. Really? <laughs> That's just true, yeah. You, guys you can have... fit your whole hand in one. I can fit maybe like we half a finger. <laughs> That's because you carry your, all your money somewhere else. That's why. <laughs> Let's take a look at your forecast for today. We're looking at... Uh, well,